Hello friends, welcome to my channel Data Making. I am going to start a new video series on Apache Airflow which is a workflow management tool or job orchestration tool. It is going to be a, a practical tutorial. Okay, let us start it. Okay, <clears throat> Apache Airflow. It's a framework or platform created by Airbnb and the open source community to programmatically create and uh, schedule and monitor the workflows. Okay, say example, uh, workflows here, we call it as workflow as a DAG, directed acyclic graph. Say you have a, a list of jobs. The jobs can be a cell script or in big data world, it can be a MapReduce job, it can be a IO script, it can be a Spark uh, uh, job. Okay, so how do you manage your jobs on your uh, Hadoop cluster or Spark cluster? Okay, so, uh, so we'll explore how this uh, uh, air, airflow can be used to monitor or orchestrate your uh, jobs. Okay, what is DAG actually? So you need to understand what is DAG. So directed acyclic graph is a graph that has no cycle and the data in each node flows forward in only one direction. Okay, in the DAG, DAG in the, the name itself suggests that it is not going to be any uh, cyclic uh, uh, order in your uh, job association. So from if you take a start, it will actually move forward only one direction. So from start, it will not come to again, okay, go to some, some other node or it, it say is from starting, it will go to job one, job two, job three. Again, it will not come to the job, uh, the start node of the uh, <coughs> job flow. Okay, that's what the direct acyclic graph says. Uh, in in uh, in uh, uh, in Apache Airflow, DAG is a collection of tasks. Okay, so if you take a particular uh, workflow, it will have a collection of tasks. So each each task actually represents one job. Okay, so it is going to be execute that job. Okay, so all the tasks you want to run are organized in a way say, in a way that it reflects the relationship and dependencies. Okay, so. Uh, so between each task there will be a dependency so example you have a five task okay so uh, first task it will start and uh, uh, the second task uh, a second task may complete uh, start only uh, when you start a first job or you can start a jobs in parallel also so that's what in the, <coughs> the relationship and uh, dependencies are built using the DAX. okay airflow is not a data streaming solution uh, tasks are uh, uh, <coughs> task does not move data from one to other uh, task. So basically uh, in information the data exchange will happen but the data will not move from one task to other task. That's what uh, it says. Airflow is not a box streaming or storm space. It's more comparable to Uzi. So if, we, if you are uh, from a big data world uh, you know the job access station or the workflow management tool called Uzi. So which is uh, which is actually you can compare uh, Uzi with the Airflow. Okay. Uh, so, uh, so when you when you define a complex uh, uh, when you have a complex job orchestration uh, uh, plan, so we can actually uh, represent that plan as or your uh, uh, the plan into a complex uh, uh, your data flow in as a graph. Okay, so easy way to represent complex data flows using a graph. So each node in the graph is a task. So if you understand. Uh, uh, the gra uh, the graph actually so each node in uh, graph is a task okay the edges represents the difference between task okay so here if you take this as an example okay so there will be a start node and uh, uh, each this is a section one and task one is a uh, task so again again task represents a particular job which is going to uh, execute okay so <coughs> the graphs are computational uh, um, the gra these graphs are called computational graphs or data flow graphs. Uh, in, uh, it transforms such data as it flows through the graph uh, and enable very complex numeric computations. So basically, uh, you can actually uh, when you build a pipeline, right? Generally, you do the complex uh, trans uh, uh, complex uh, transformation from uh, from one data uh, from one one form of the data it may convert into other form, right? All you do using some uh, uh, some uh, um, uh, framework like Apache Spark or any other uh, uh, tool sake. So those uh, pipelines you want to run it in, in a sequence or parallel manner, you can use this Apache workflow. Uh, uh, DAG uh, doesn't perform any actual computation. Instead, operator determines 
uh, what actually gets done which is nothing but actually uh, dag is not going to run your job basically as i told you each task represent uh, uh, operators so operator you can actually think of as uh, uh, if you are no uzi uh, in uzi we have action right so each action represent what type of job you want to execute like you can say uh, shell action which runs which will run the shell script you will have iv action you will have a uh, uh, spark action so different action to perform different jobs right? similarly we have operators in uh, uzi airflow to perform the uh, each task so your dag is just a uh, uh, umbrella for your all your tasks okay so once operator is instantiated it is referred as a is referred to as a task so operator describes a single task in a workflow so if you take this entire as a workflow so each task actually each uh, operator will be uh, i think as a task okay instance uh, instance a uh, uh, task requires providing a unique uh, task id and dag container so when you when you instantiate the uh, uh, the task or operator right you need to provide a task id and also from which uh, this task is comes under which DAG. So this entire thing considered as a DAG. So this section one and task one will be a, this is the ID we are giving, providing and we should specify the, what is the DAG, uh, which uh, uh, which comes, uh, this task comes under which DAG, that's you need to specify. Okay, a DAG is a container that is used to organize tasks and set that execution context. So basically it's a container where you, uh, keep a set of tasks so each task will execute the respective jobs so you have a uh, here you think as a uh, you will have a, a different uh, uh, type of job you want to execute you will have a different uh, uh, operators like uh, to perform iv script you have a IV, IV operator uh, <coughs> iv operator for running a bash commands you have a bash operator similarly you have the n number of operators provided by the airflow will will actually go through and explore each uh, operators one by in the future videos thank you so much friends uh, see you in the next video